Java is an object-oriented programming language. A vital part of this language are methods. The topic that we have chosen to explain is instant methods and class methods, which is 6.2 and 6.6 .6 in the textbook. To begin with this lesson, instead of giving you the definition of what these terms are, we will provide you guys with two analogies to ensure that you guys thoroughly understand the basis of what instant methods are, what class methods are, how they are used, and the differences between them. Here we have an artist with a canvas, a paint palette, and paint cans. We can call the paint palette the class of the program and the paint in the palette the instant methods. These individual paints have been chosen and are specific to the palette, exactly how instance methods are specific to the class and the instances of the class. Next, we can call the paint cans class methods. You can use these paints anywhere. It can be used by anyone and it does not belong to a particular class or in this case, the paint palette. Here we have an artist who we will call the programmer. Let's say the artist wants to paint a painting, which will represent a new program with another class. The artist can choose to use paint from the can or paint from the palette. In other words, the paint in the can and the paint in the palette are both paint, like how instance methods and class methods are both methods. The only difference is that the palette only pertains to the current painting because the colors in the palette are chosen specifically for this painting. The paint cans can apply to anything and not just the current painting. Let us provide you with another example to effectively understand the key differences between the two types of methods and further your understanding of what each of the methods are. In this example, we have buildings, homes, and a blueprint. In this case, the architect will represent the programmer. He will produce the blueprint that we will call a program or class containing the homes and building. The home will represent instant methods because it only allows certain individuals inside the home, like the homeowners, these individuals are instances of the class and like each instance of a class, each individual person or people have their own homes. The hospitals and libraries and any other public place or space really will represent class methods because they can be accessed by any person or instance. Class methods are usable with objects outside of class and with other programs. Now that you have a strong understanding of these two terms, let us apply this knowledge into actually creating a program using these method types. This program, called coordinate, does various operations with coordinates. Let's say you wanted to find the midpoint between two points. We will create an instance method to do this for us. To create an instance method, you start by writing public, the return type, the method name, and the parameters. Inside, we must write out the body or procedure to configure the midpoint, which we have skipped over here. Here, we will create an example of a class method that will add two numbers. To create this, you will need to write public static Notice how the static modifier is used, and then we put the return type and then the name with the parameters. The key and crucial distinction between instance methods and class methods is the use of the static modifier in this method signature or header. You will also notice that in a class method, we do not use the keyword this, which causes us to change our parameters accordingly. We do not use this because the class method does not refer to an instance of the class like the instance method does and does not have an implicit object. Therefore, we need to include both parameters in our method header. We can show how these methods work and how they are called in the interactions panel, or you can do it in another class. But for now, we will show you in an interactions panel. There's a specific difference between the way you invoke it or call an instance method and a class method. In the first example for the instance method and any instance method really, we call on it by writing the implicit object dot method name bracket explicit object semicolon. There are two ways to call a class method. The first way is to invoke the class method in the same class or program. The second way is when you invoke the class method in another class The first way to call it is to write the name of the class method and then the parameters in brackets, then a semicolon, and most likely you will store it in some type of variable. The second and probably the most common way is to write the class identifier or class name of which the class method belongs to. So in this case, coordinate dot method name, which is add, and then parameter arguments, which in our example is one dot x and two dot y. 
We created a new integer by the name of sum to test if our program works, and this should print out 4.